Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. Working on an Acer laptop right now, uh, and we're going to try to show you how to deal with a computer that just keeps restarting while you're using it. Sometimes you'll be gaming or surfing the net, uh, and your computer will just cut out and restart seemingly randomly, uh, seemingly for no reason. Um, so we're going to show you how to identify, we're going to show you how to get into your computer logs today, find out the reason why it restarted, and then how uh, make a plan to address it. Now keep in mind, this video is only for a computer that restarts while in use from your desktop um, or, or, or from a, a browser or, or whatever you're using. If your computer is restarting and never actually making it to your desktop, that's another issue. That's going to be what we call a boot loop. Check out video number one in the description. That'll show you how to address that problem. Also, if your computer is restarting due to it overheating, if your computer is getting really hot and then restarting, check out video number two in the description. That will help you deal with an overheating computer. Huh. Weird. Um, so this video is only for if your computer is restarting uh, while being used. So we're going to zoom in on the screen here. Uh, show you how to get into these file logs. Go down to your file explorer, this little manila envelope down there. Click on that. Uh, on this PC, on the left hand side, this PC, right click and go to manage. Uh, on the left hand side, event viewer, double click. Come down to Windows logs, double click. And then we're going to go to system, double click. Now, more than likely, you're going to see a lot of errors here. Uh, you, you got some warnings, some errors. As you scroll down, you'll see many more. Don't freak out over every error you see. Uh, computers run all the time having errors and correcting those errors without you ever really noticing what's going on. So we're not looking for every error to be a problem. We're just looking for the error that is corresponding to the time where your computer restarted. It'll have a date and then a time. So we're looking for the date and time. So assuming, let's say that it was this one at 919 on 1116, let's say it was that one. So we'll double click on that error. Oh, that's a boring one. We don't want that one. Boring. There we go. Uh, so this error, it says this application specific permission settings do not grant local activation permission, blah, 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 blah. So that won't mean a whole lot to you. Uh, it's kind of garbly gook. Uh, what we're looking for is, is an actual reason why your computer is restarting, which won't say here because it, it, it's not a restarting error, but it'll say something like, like sudden power loss or, or something like that that made your computer restart. If you do see something like sudden power loss, maybe that means you have to test your, uh, your charger or your adapter. Maybe you have to test your power jack. Um, but if, if you do see that, let us know. We have videos for how to do that. Uh, but if you cannot d decipher this, like in this case, we're going to come down here to the event ID, which in this case is 116. So we're going to double click on that. We're going to copy that number. All right. Uh, then we're going to come over to your browser. Oh, open up a web browser. We're going to go in and try to find out um, what, what this event ID is. Oh, all these things popping up everywhere. All right, so our browser's loading up. Okay, so we're at Google now. We're going to type in event ID. And we're going to paste that number. Okay, so as you can see right here, this support.microsoft.com, this comes up right from Microsoft. Event ID 116, that's what we were looking for. So we'll click right on that to see what Microsoft has to say about the error. It lists your computer symptoms that you may be experiencing. Uh, scroll down. I'll show you what, what we're looking for. So cause, this is what you're looking for. Uh, these 116 events are recorded when Microsoft components tries to access blah, 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 blah. 
Um, and then what you're looking for, so you'd see something like, you know, sudden power loss or CPU failure causes a restart. You'd see something like that. And this is what you want, the workaround. Uh, this will tell you how to deal with that error. Uh, for example, the other day we had a computer that was restarting. Uh, we took the event ID, we looked it up on Google. On Microsoft, we found out that the power loss was leading to the computer shutdown. And it said that the power loss was caused by the RAM upgrade, that the RAM was taking too much power from the computer. It was starving the CPU of power and the computer was shutting down. And the workaround advice it gave was to either undo that RAM upgrade uh, so the computer would function normally or go into BIOS and set the CPU uh, to run at uh, low performance mode. Uh, so that way the computer would still function and not turn off. So it gave you a couple options on, on how to remedy that. So this is where you would look for your solution. Now that's one possible solution to why your computer's uh, shutting down. This event log is a great place to find reasons why your computer is doing things at certain times. Um, so hopefully this helps you out with finding why your computer is shutting down. If this was helpful, please like and share. Again, if you have any questions, if you see an event ID that you don't un understand, you don't understand the workaround, leave a message, we can help you out. Uh, and if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.